What's going on guys? I'm the Walrus Jedi and in today's video I will be doing my top 10 ships from the Star Wars films. And uh, yeah, so if you like this video, you can like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more top 10s like this in the future. So yeah, this is just, you know, for fun. And this is, you know, my top 10. So your top 10 is probably going to look different. And if you would like to share that in the comment section, go right ahead. All right, without further ado, let's get right to the top 10. So coming in at number 10, you have Count Dooku's Solar Sailor, which is a modified Punmorka 116 class interstellar sloop. And it was manufactured by the Geonosians. And I think this ship looks cool. It's very unique. Like it, it's one of the only, I think it's the only ship we see in Star Wars that uses a sail. So I think that's really cool. And, you know, it's very posh, you know, which matches Count Dooku. So I think it's a good fit and it's an awesome vehicle. Very unique. Number nine, you have the Scimitar, which is the, you know, Darth Maul's ship. It's a modified star courier. It was manufactured by Republic Sinar Systems. And this vehicle just, you know, it looks cool. It's sleek. Yeah, it looks cool. It matches, you know, Darth Maul. It's a cool ship for a cool bad guy. And you don't see a whole lot of it, but that's okay. It just, it looks cool. It's a, it's a cool vehicle. Number eight, you have Darth Vader's TIE Advance. You know, the twin ion engine advanced X1 is, you know, it's full name. And it was manufactured by Sinar Fleet Systems. And uh, I went with this TIE Fighter over, you know, any of the other ones because I, I think it looks cool. Now, if we're talking, if we were talking favorite kind of TIE Fighter just in general, whether it's from the movies or elsewhere, I, I'd pick the TIE Defender. But sticking strictly to the movies, it's Vader's TIE Fighter. So it just looks cool. It's a bigger TIE Fighter. It probably has, you know, more capabilities. I think it has a uh, hyperdrive in it, which would make sense. So it's more useful for Darth Vader. Number seven, the Venator class Star Destroyer, manufactured by Kuat Drive Yards. I uh, I like this big capital ship. You know, it's it's the Republic's primary capital ship, and you know it has the the big bay doors that open on the on the front well i guess on the top where the gunships and you know the fighters would come out and i i just think that looks cool yeah i've i've been a fan of the venator for a long time so and i like you know the clone wars era and uh yeah it's pretty cool number 6 you have the T65 X-wing manufactured by Income Corporation uh, this is, you know, this this has to be on your top 10 list at some point, right? I mean, it's an X-Wing. I, I, I like X-Wings. I think they're cool. They look cool when they have their S-foils in attack position, which is, you know, their more, most famous position in the Yeah, so pretty cool starfighter. They seem, you know, to be quite capable in dogfights and that, and... X-Wings have been involved in blowing up two Death Stars, so pretty awesome. Number five, you have the Naboo Royal N1 Starfighter, manufactured by Theed Palace Space Vessel Engineering Corps. And this ship just is sleek and looks nice. And uh, it, normally I'm not a fan of yellow, yellow gold, but I don't know, for some reason the silver and the the yellow just work on this vehicle and um and maybe i'm a little nostalgic because phantom menace was my favorite movie as a kid and i loved these these ships they look so cool magnificent little ships and uh number four is uh the millennium falcon which is a modified yt 1300 fp light freighter 
and it was manufactured by Corellian Engineering Corporation. And, you know, the Millennium Falcon looks cool, sounds cool, you know, it's a cool freighter, looks awesome. Um, yeah, the Millennium Falcon has to be on your list at some point. And, uh, yeah, so it's, it's a cool ship. All right, number three is the Delta Seven Aether Sprite class light interceptor, or you know, like it's it, the Jedi Starfighter, manufactured by Kuat Systems Engineering, and I picked this Jedi Starfighter over the Eta, which is you know the one that Obi Wan and Anna can use in Revenge of the Sith. I I picked basically the ones that are shaped like an arrowhead. And, uh, yeah, I just, I just like those more. I just, I, you know, I like the, the sleek, symmetrical, you know, very, yeah, they just look cool. I just, yeah, very cool ships, you know, then, you know, this list is based on, you know, kind of aesthetics and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think, I think the Delta seven looks pretty cool. And now some honorable mentions. You have the Luker Hulk class 2H3210 cargo freighter, you know, and it was manufactured by Horsch Kessel Drive Incorporation, Incorporated rather. Yeah, and th this, this, uh, this, you know, large capital ship just looks cool because, you know, the, the sphere in the center can, you know, go down to the planet and stuff like that, as you see in Attack of the Clones. Just looks cool, you know. It's different. That's what I like about the prequels is they don't just reuse X wings and you know Tie fighters and crap like that. They actually make new ships that look cool and are pretty memorable. And then you have just the bog standard Tie fighter, you know, the twin ion engine starfighter manufactured by Sinar Fleet Systems. Um, you know, I think the the bog standard Tie fighter does look cool. And it is iconic, has a cool sound, you know, very iconic. Number two, Slave One, which is a modified prototype fire spray 31 class patrol and attack craft manufactured by Kuat Systems Engineering. This ship, oh, this ship could have been number one, honestly, it was, it was really close, but... I love the look. It's unique how it lands and takes off. Like, that's different. I, you know, I, I don't know of any other ship in Star Wars that takes off like that. It's, it's cool. And I love the sound Slave One makes when it's flying around. That humming noise. Yeah, this, this ship, you know, that, I mean, if we're talking strictly, what's your favorite, one of your favorite Star Wars sounds, it's, that's the sound Slave One just makes just flying around. And coming in at number one is the Republic gunship, you know, the low altitude assault transport slash infantry manufactured by Rathana Heavy Engineering. This ship is, uh, I like it, you know, it's cool. I like clones and it's basically a troop carrier. And yeah, it's cool. You know, you get, you get a lot of it in attack of the clones. So it's just, just an awesome vehicle. And you see quite a bit of it, especially if you watch like the clone wars and stuff like that. So you do get a lot of gunship action. So yeah, well, that is my top 10 and a couple of honorable mentions, you know, what did you think of the list? And, uh, yeah, again, you can let me know what your top 10 or top five or top 50, if you're, I guess, feeling really ambitious Star Wars vehicles in the films are. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>